people are asking about the um, settings and everything for the game, um, and I can kind of go through it with you now real quick. Um, when you're setting up a game, right here, like I'm saying, continue game, this is the exact same um, settings you would have for when you're setting up a new game. Um, you have your 24-hour cycle here, and with this you can choose 5 minutes, so day and night combined are a total of 5 minutes, um, all the way up to 50 minutes, so day and night combined are 50 minutes. Um, we go for 50, just because, you know, nice. Uh, the cycles are, are perfectly fine. Um, what we do change now that we can, because it used to be 50-50, now that we're allowed to with the latest uh, patches, we change our night cycle to only 20%, because when it's night, we generally don't go outside because of the zombies being dangerous. 20% um, means that 20% of the day is nighttime. So, mm, about maybe... 15 to 20 minutes uh, of, of each cycle is nighttime. Uh, friendly fire off, obviously, because we're not looking to PvP with each other. There's no point. Uh, zombies run default means that if there's enough light, zombies will walk, whereas if it's dark, the zombies will run. So nighttime they run. Um, you can turn it to never run, so no matter what, you can just go out whenever and the zombies don't run. Or you can have always run, like I explained before, and then it doesn't matter. There's no difference between day and night. Uh, player icons. We have this on so we can see where each other are on the map. Um, so it gives us an idea of you know where our buddies are. Um, generally, you would turn this off only if uh, you were doing PvP. There's no point in having it off otherwise. Block durability. You can set how tough blocks are. Um, now, that's tough all around, though, because zombies will beat on blocks to break through them. Um, but it also sets how tough uh, blocks are for you as a player to break through, whether you're using a pickaxe or stuff like that. Um, yeah, I, I don't get five minute cycles either. I They put in the option, which is nice, uh, um, but a five minute day night cycle is ridiculous. Um, drop on death. If you die, what do you drop? Um, everyone knows, you know, in Minecraft you drop everything. Um, in this, you can drop nothing. You can drop everything. Uh, you can drop just your tool belt, which is your hot bar down below, um, same as in Minecraft. Um, or you can drop a backpack, um, which is uh, whatever's in your inventory but not on your hot bar. So that's depending on what you prefer. We go for tool belt only because that's the setting that the game started with. It's what we're used to. And it, it when we set it to nothing for a while, no one cared if they died because you didn't lose anything. Um, so tool belt means there is a penalty for dying. Uh, you can still go pick up the items before they despawn but there's the possibility of them disappearing. Um, drop on quit. That's an interesting option they put in. If you're if you're having a public server, um, drop on quit would be actually something good to have. Um, uh, most people would probably set it to everything, but that way somebody can't come into a, a public server, take some high value materials they find, and then just quit and leave and never come back and, you know, therefore destroy those materials. Um, we have it set to nothing, obviously, because we, we play with just our group. Um, but that would be something good to keep in mind in case you're playing a public game or hosting a public server. Um, damage given. This is how much damage you give to the zombies um, and to the environment. This is how much uh, damage the zombies give to you. Um, actually, we should set that up because, like I said, it's been easy for us. Enemy memory. Now this, uh, zombies in this game, there's a stealth system now, um, and it uses the same icon as from the Elder Scrolls series. Um, the way that the em enemy memory works is if an enemy spots you and actually starts hunting you, how long does it take before they forget you were there, before they stop hunting you? Um, you can set it anywhere from 30 seconds all the way up to 90 seconds. Um, enemy spawning, this is how, how much the enemies spawn. Obviously, I was talking before, we were on medium. I'll set it to high now, because we want more. Craft timer. This is something that I first came across, or I should say we first came across in Rust, that this game has now um, introduced. Uh, anyone who's played Rust knows that it takes you have to take time on most servers to craft stuff. Um, in this game, we prefer no crafting timer, it, it, since we're playing on you know a private server and we're not playing PvP or anything. Um, I suppose if we were playing PvP or, or, or something like that, we, we could probably set it to um, normal or fast. And fast is half time. Um, f uh, so, you know, that's the settings. Um, but for the most part, I don't like crafting timers. It's just tedious, it creates downtime. Um, the only plus side of it in this game is that if you start crafting something, 
in your inventory, it'll keep crafting um, while you're moving around. So you can go around doing other stuff while the stuff you started crafting is crafting inside of your inventory. So that's kind of cool. Uh, loot timer. This is... Do you want it to take you a certain amount of time to open up crates and, and uh, desks and fridges and other things to try to get um, loot out of them? Um, we set it to fast because... <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we set it to fast. Hey, Matt, quiet down. We set it to fast because uh, it actually creates a little bit of an element of survivability for us. That we can't just run through a building, loot everything at light speed, and run out. Uh, we actually have to take a little bit of time looting stuff. Normal is way too slow, in my opinion, um, so we just keep it at fast. Um, cheat mode, this is if you want to allow debugging tools. Um, we have it on um, because it allows us now. We, we found a couple of errors in the game since the newest patch. Um, one caused me to completely crash, lose my whole inventory, lose everything I had, including an auger, which is extremely rare. Um, so we have this on right now in case we need to um, use debugging tools for any type of glitches or errors we find to replace something that people lose. Um, we don't use it to spawn or anything or, or anything else whatsoever. Um, yes, I see that. My son's saying hi to the camera. You gotta back up, Matt. They can't really see you. But, um... Yeah, so we have that on just in case anything happens, because as you saw from me playing, um, I wasn't spawning anything for myself, I was just playing. So, uh, Public or private? Very simple. Do you want it to appear on the public list of games, or do you want it to be private? Private means that your buddies can join, because they'll see that you're in the game and they can join it. Uh, max players. You can go from anywhere from 2 to 16 players right now. Um, which is pretty impressive. Um, I know in Minecraft, to go beyond... I think it was an 8 or 10 player limit you had to once again edit it in your um, in your server settings, in your config file. Um, we have it at 16 just for however many of our uh, buddies want to join. Uh, so far we've had up to 9 of the MNEMA guys in one game so far. Um, password, self-explanatory. Um, put a password on if you want a password. So, um, Game port, that's just the standard port, don't mess with it. Um, but that, if you're port forwarding, that's the port that you use for port forwarding. Nat punch through is an uh, automatic port forwarding uh, thing that they patched into the game in Alpha 6. Um, so that you shouldn't have to port forward, but in case you do, you have the 25,000 port to put into your router. And that was long-winded. Um, I apologize, but yeah. <laughs> I, I, You guys... Mr. Sarah told me that some people wanted to know about the game, so I was explaining the game.